All right, we are back for game four. Man, not used to uh, this going to four. Okay, so again, unfortunately, the meta transfer is uh, on our first turn, so we can't actually do anything with it. Techno Smith, Gloom Fiend is probably actually the best thing to level just from how uh, it's behaving uh, so far. All right, um, Dusk Spire Zombie would be nice. Tactician is definitely our top priority, though. Um, Titan, we'll see. I swear this is not the uh, avatar that I had. Anvil on Enforcer. Uh, it's a dude with armor. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay, what was the second of that? Uh, Scipion Augmentation. Okay, that's certainly makes the uh, Nexus Tactician less good. Um, my opponent seems to be playing very aggressively. Um, okay, the armor isn't going to matter since my creature would die before it would happen. These are all very bad creatures to try and deal with that with. So I think I'm just going to level as many uh, of my quote unquote best cards I've got as I can. Okay. So we've got Sky Knight Glider plus Matrix Warden can handle the uh, Enforcer if it does not get bigger, which is good at least because my opponent did spend a whole turn uh, going into it. My opponent did get a, did level a free spell, but uh, even then, like, part of the problem with the free spells is the opportunity cost. Like, all of the set one free spells, um, are less good than the effect of non-free spells. So like, yes, my opponent has a level two spell that will be castable for free. However, my opponent will be casting that level two spell plus a level one card, rather than just having a uh, level two non-free spell, which would likely be better or stronger. Okay, so I think I am just gonna play my two cards to get this trade here. Which is unfortunate. My opponent has a very strong and aggressive deck, um, which my deck could definitely have some trouble handling. Um, but right now I needed to take care of that. So definitely falling a bit behind. Uh, hopefully can recover a bit by uh, getting some good trades here. Banshee uh, taking, out, taking out Primordial. Uh, Shambler taking out War Charger would definitely be nice. But we'll see what my opponent lets me have. If I can get this to level 3, it'll be nice. At level 2, it's not so amazing. Though. All right. Yeah, that operator seems really good, uh, just for solid stats. Defensively slanted stats, but still, there are plenty of times where that's great. Ah, oh, static shock. All right, so the zombie's going to die this turn. All right. That's certainly good plays. Uh, not that amazing, but it's certainly good. Um, so I'm thinking, just like I said, Shambler, Banshee. So we're not that far behind. Um, my opponent did get off to a pretty good aggressive... Uh, Level one now. I could uh, light shield patrol overwhelming for force. That is certainly uh, an option. All right. My opponent just wants to get an extra card in exchange for my uh, shambler. Totally fine with that. I get a three three. My opponent gets an extra card. my opponent plays a 5-5 five, five or something in front of the Banshee, I'll be very happy because then the uh, overwhelming force would be extra good. Okay, 
Yeah, we'll see, but I'm kind of leaning towards light shield patrol overwhelming force right now. Overwhelming force is also good with all those piddly little zombies we uh, had. It certainly is interesting that the level 3 can be a downside, though. It's not likely to be a level 3, but, you know, it's certainly possible. All right, so we kind of have a good opportunity for it, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take that play. Unfortunately, I cannot... I want to buff Light Shield Patrol now so it gets its armor, uh, but I want to buff uh, the zombie that comes up after Shambler after combat, but Light Shield Patrol definitely gets priority here. Okay. Um, guys, just good. Um, I'd like to get uh, Spectre level. Maybe I can use Meta Transfer to level Spectre. We'll see. <coughs> Obviously, it depends a lot on what my opponent has. Um, hopefully, my opponent will have to play another full card to deal with the operator. As my opponent's at level, or sorry, at player rank 2. Uh, it's less likely that it will cost a full card, but hopefully my opponent has to expend some amount of value in that direction. This Banshee is also uh, you know, a reasonable level 1 creature after it got that uh, buff. I am uh, forcing my opponent to handle these, because of the wrong force. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on in the background. There's some kind of creature here some kind of bigger thing behind it, I guess. All right, uh, perfectly happy with this trade. Okay, I was going to say, unless something happens, like augmentation. But that's all right. Um. Okay, my opponent plays Dora again. Um. So sadly, meta transfer won't save any of my people. Um. Great if you guys cannot kill Primordial. The transfer one is minus three, right? Yeah. So my opponent deals five damage. I can shrink that to four damage, shrink that to one damage, but that's still enough. So I think I just You know, guys it's just gonna be more important at level two probably. So I think I'm gonna Spectre and Geist to finish off the Explorer. Primordial is still going to be something for me to deal with. Um, not drawing a lot of my level 2 cards, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully we will draw the answers that we require. Pardon me. Had a nice steak dinner um, earlier. Playing with the new grill that I got, so... Very, very full at the moment. My opponent's just playing lots of good, solid cards. Certainly unfortunate for me, but uh, just solid. So, okay. So the sham, this shambler can trade with the operator, whereas uh, either shambler can trade with the primordial. So I think I'm gonna play it that way. Obviously, it's across two turns, and the primordial will be able to move, so it won't actually trade, but uh, it will force the opponent to move, which is uh, sufficient for me at the moment. Um, I'd like to get the zombie level. Um, we'll see if the board allows it. Banshee and Matrix Warden are both definitely uh, stronger cards, so. Again, at least we're finally drawing some of our level twos. Part of the problem 
or one problem that I have with uh, Soul Forge is that you things kind of snowball, snowball. Like uh, if you draw all level ones um, in player rank two, you know you've leveled up however much you have in level one. If you draw all level ones in player rank two, then you have zero level threes in uh, player rank three. So not only did you have to get by with a worse board of level ones at both player rank one and two, you're stuck with a ton of uh, level twos at player rank three. So uh, things can kind of snowball. And obviously that's just, you know, well, sometimes you get unlucky draws, but it's a, it can be a problem. I mean, like, it definitely feels bad to be in that position, um, which is kind of what you don't want in a game is um, situations that make the players feel bad. All right, so my opponent still has uh, two plays, which is scary. Um, this enforcer is you know, rough. Takes a 10 power creature to kill it. I can give it plus five. Ouch, that's general's uh, timely and unfortunate. Unfortunately, I don't. Maybe I shouldn't play the zombie. No, I don't think I can stop and play the zombie, unfortunately. So I'll play the cards that take care of my opponent's cards. Well, losing me the least. Unfortunately, my opponent still has two good creatures on the board, um, but at least the general will be attacking, so I can throw something like this uh, glider in front, or uh, Gloom Fiend would be nice. Um, Gloom Fiend would shrink and force her enough that glider would f finish it off, which is good. Zombies are always just trying to wake up from a nap. It's just getting up, looking around, stretching. Yeah. Just chilling. Invoker. Oh, yeah. Invoker's the guy that shoves everything away. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, lots of value off of those. Um, nothing too ridiculous, though. So we're going to get... Unfortunately, still can't really zombie there. But we come out ahead on those trades for sure. So we're behind on life, but at least the board is uh, looking a little more reasonable again. Okay, could Matrix Warden our patrol again. It'll be, what, 10 virtual 13? Armor is often better than health, but not always. Pardon. Tactician, I will definitely play if it will swing a trade, but if it won't, I'll have to think about it. It is more likely to swing a trade just because my creatures cannot attack this turn, so my opponent can't just throw something into and eat it before I get a chance to respond. Okay. Uh, invoker pushes uh, again. That's not a real big problem for me. Okay, so the Mystic does get to uh, trade with the Glider. It's good for my opponent. Um, the armor from Tactician would be fine. Uh, Matrix Warden could give my uh, patrol more permanent armor, but I think I'll just take the Tactician armor. It's better to have level up, probably. Um, and it makes the Gloom Fiend a little more costly to uh, deal with. Okay, definitely like uh, these creatures. Banshee is always a nice surprise to drop on your opponent. Just hoping we can continue to hold board control a little bit like we're doing. This guy looks sad. What? What? He's all stoic. Then he just looks sad, and then he looks 
I guess he also continues to look sad. He's like, I'm sad I'm super powerful. Alright, uh, Conflagrate is a decent card. Um, doesn't doesn't get a two for one. It removes the armor, um, which is fine. Um, I figured it would require a better buff to do much. Digitize. That name sounds awesome. What is digitize? Oh, shrinks opponents for a turn. Um, okay, that gets pretty big. So that is interesting, but not like super anything. So the Banshee doesn't actually buy me a ton of value. So I'll probably just play Technosmith and Spectre, which means I can level my Sap, um, which again, might or might not do much, but it's uh, better to level more things, especially because it's an 11-11 versus a 12-12 that I was looking at. All right, this board state is looking increasingly like a board state for overwhelming force. Um, Shambler is a nice thing to have its attack doubled, but... Um, Zombie is actually pretty nice to level here, too, though. Right, door comes back out, that is the, as does the Operator. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just going to Shambler and Zombie just because I'd <coughs> like to get a chance to try out the Zombie um, at level 3. So, we shall see. But it would definitely be fun to uh, get to play around with. Oh, and we drew it right away. Um, actually drew kind of a lot of good cards, but the Zombie is uh, likely the best of them. Um, certainly Tactician could be good, but requires a specific board. Um, all right, so unable to kill my opponent's creature there. That's a shame. Um, so we need 11 power there. So Glider will handle that nicely. Zombie handles this fine. And he can start healing up his damage. All right, so. Not amazingly ahead or whatever, but we're certainly doing fine on the board. Um, the zombie is uh, going to be a bit of a pain for my opponent to handle, especially because it'll heal up eight of its damage, so it'll be pretty uh, pretty close to full again. Hopefully it'll at least get a two for one every time I get to play it. I say every time because it would not surprise me if this goes to another player rank. All right, so 17, so we will not... That free spell did manage to save my opponent's uh, creature again. Um, Alright, that's uh, also a bit of a pain. Okay, so we need a seven. And a 16. That's unfortunate. Um, uh, sorry, the, the numbers that I was saying were powers, by the way. Um, I could get one short of the 16 by playing Matrix Warden and using this Matrix Warden to buff it. Um, I think I'm just going to have to take out the higher toughness enforcer with uh, my own best 
And Death Seeker here will just hold things off for a bit. Well, at least my zombie gets to uh, go to town. So things are not looking great. Okay, this was a pretty good draw. Uh, Banshee is very good against these enforcers, at least. Um, as is Gloomfiend, so. These are two very good creatures to have drawn last turn, but will be at least reasonable this turn. Um, thankfully, my warden will uh, stay on the battlefield unless my opponent has a way to keep his enforcer alive or to deal more damage with it. So that is very good. With the board as it is, Banshee would go here, Glimfiend would go anywhere else and kill off this middle of the lane. But this certainly depends on what comes out of my opponent. So that's one, two, five. This is two, four, seven. I wonder if Glimfiend may actually be a better creature than uh, Banshee. It's yeah, its stats are pretty pretty reasonable. Uh, again, if you combine the minuses with the uh, its actual stats, so it's a kind of like a seventeen seventeen and a ten ten and a five five. Um, but being able to mix and match the damage is an upside much more often than it is a downside. So uh, this is a pretty reasonable value creature. I'm definitely liking Gloom Fiend out of this uh, testing. Um, because Banshee is a card that I was not liking as much originally, but eventually, you know, gradually grew on me over time. One thing that the Banshee can do that the uh, Gloomfiend, can, yeah, Gloomfiend cannot is uh, move from one lane to another. So the Gloomfiend gets the added bonus of uh, uh, being an abomination, so it combos with uh, Dr. Drain your opponent's life. Dr. Feelgood, if you will. Okay, um, I'm curious what my opponent has in her hand. Um, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just use pronouns based on, uh, my character's, or my opponent's character portrait, if the name is no clue. I don't want to, uh, you know, randomly call somebody the wrong gender, but that could happen in either direction. I don't want that, so. Um, so that dude got little horns, and I guess... Stylist, stylized helmet kind of looks like it. Evil robot. Yeah, that card's good. It's a con. Aloyan seems to not be too short for uh, playables. I feel like the... I definitely like the... Uh, um, zombie that I had that kept creating three threes when I died. Like, that card is uh, pretty reasonable. Um, but otherwise, I feel like the alone cards, just a couple that I got to play with this draft uh, or play against, uh, were more impressive. That said, people may still be drafting alone, like, out of habit uh, after this set changed. I'm several days, less than a week late to starting to draft set two, but I assume that. Uh, not too many people have drafted uh, that much. Okay, I'm. My opponent's taking a long enough time. I'm just gonna pause it until my opponent gets back. My opponent might be away uh, from the computer. All right, my opponent's back. Plays a push mage, a push giant, I guess. Um, and <laughs> a spire song. Wow. My opponent goes deep and uh, does so with some of the same stuff I like to pull out. Nice. So, Banshee in front of Operator uh, has the biggest effect. Um, Gloom Fiend kills off Enforcer. We get 22 damage. Very good. Okay, so we probably win this game. We've got three creatures, any of which are lethal. Um, my opponent will have to handle three of them, which is totally possible. But, uh, Certainly a difficult position to be in. Um, we're relatively low on health, but our opponent is low on that's what's important. 
if my opponent does something that just shrinks my guys, I might be able to overwhelming force also. Overwhelming, overwhelming force on light shield patrol is not terrible either. It is nice that overwhelming force can be a level behind light shield patrol at every level and still be able to trigger it. We can use Techno Smith and level up our light shield. Okay, conflagrate, doing some damage. Um, if my opponent had like a level three gloom fiend or something, we could uh, take care of both of these here. All right, so our gloom fiend is just big enough to get in for lethal. So, so we went three one with this uh, deck for our very first uh, set two draft. So thank y'all very much for watching and uh, hopefully cheering me on for it. Got a Rune Bark Guardian. Um, yeah, that's good. That seems like it could be part of a fun health-centric deck. Let's see what uh, cars we get. Because that's what we're here for. Yeah, let's open this up. All right, uh, Ferocious Roar is fine. Um, Patriarch's fine. Unfortunately, the, the two rears we got were set one. Let's see what this raw fiend is. Huh, that's cute. I like that. I like that you can also just throw it in front of something to tr likely trade, though. Um, although the numbers it shrinks by are uh, increased. That's really cool. I like that. Bloom fiend we like. Cool. Uh, thanks for tagging along. See y'all next time.